Hello everyone, welcome to the Learning Express YouTube channel. So friends, today I'm going to discuss about the most awaited thing that people ask about the SST branch of IIT Bombay. So I tried to compile the data from the websites of IIT Bombay and I discussed with the people of SST branch, I, the lab work, about the coursework, electives, and at the end of the important links are mentioned there so that you can visit and exactly can see what is going to be taught there in this uh, curriculum work and whatever the course code is mentioned there. So let it proceed like this. So the first thing is I am starting with courses. So I, initially I am explaining about this branch and later on I will give you some comparison points because pe people are asking, uh, asking about uh, the comparison of SST branch with uh, some other BLSI courses in other IITs. So, first thing is that in coursework of the semester one, they have mentioned here the BLSI technology, solid state devices. So, these are the two basic courses related to the uh, BLSI domain or can say the device domain. And after that, one lab is there. In the first semester, the, the lab that they are, they are producing is for six, six credits. So one important thing is that there are four hours reserved for this lab work uh, as a practical work and one hour for uh, means uh, lecture part. So they will teach about the concept, then they will give you the time of four hours for the simulation. Now, if I uh, look inside this VLSI technology, then in this you are going to be somehow uh, related to the, your work will be somehow related to the uh, IC design part. part. So the points I have uh, uh, collected uh, from this coursework of the VLSI technology are environment for VLSI technology. Here you will exactly learn how the fabrication is going on in the industries. What is the clean room and safety requirements, wafer cleaning process and wet chemical uh, etching techniques. So these are the processes that are very useful and going to be happen in the industry on the fabrication level. So after that impurity, incorporation, oxidation, lithography, chemical vapor deposition techniques in lithography, photolithography, electronic beam lithography and newer lithography techniques for VLSI and ultra LSI means ULSI mask generations. Uh, I think uh, you people may connect that what are the, these things are. These are totally related to the VLSI fabrication part and then metal film deposition, plasma and rapid thermal processing, process integration for NMOS, CMOS and bipolar circuits, advanced MOS technologies. So these are the things are going to be covered under this course and you can see these details whatever I have mentioned uh, or I am talking about. You can look at these things. I have provided the link here. So link is provided, you can get the complete info about it. In the solid state devices, you are basically going to know about the device physics, how the bipolar transistors are formed, or bipolar transistors are formed and how the diodes are formed, what is the working of MOSFET. Exactly, these are on the device level, you will get the things here. And on the basis of this course, VLSI technology, this micro electronic simulation layer is provided. And in this lab, basically you are going to use various TCAD tools. So few TCAD tools are mentioned in this, uh, in their uh, portal of IIT Bombay. They are like NG Spice, Magic are the tools, uh, which they will use for the uh, device level simulation. And uh, they are going to give you the insight of MOS transistor and uh, passive components, uh, VCTs will be explored here. And there will be there will be a familiarization with the IC design flow, and uh, whatever they are going to give you, it will be nothing but exploration of this PLSI technology course in terms of simulation here. So I can say this is the very good environment they are going to give you here. First in first uh, course that is a PLSI technology concept will be provided about the fabrication, and these fabrications will be provided in terms of the CAD simulation tools. So simulation tools are uh, provided, softwares are provided here, but right? this thing is very good. And they have mentioned a few reference books and IEEE papers also for this, uh, this uh, can say, uh, microelectronic simulation lab. And apart from that, two electives are mentioned here. 
so i have also given the elective list you can uh, choose elective according to your need and you can discuss this thing with your seniors also in iit bombay and one important thing that i observed here at iit bombay is the communication skill usually whatever the iits i visited till now for the uh, the blsi and non blsi branches no, no one is providing about uh, the communication skill course so communication skill course is basically going to help you during the placements they'll uh, they'll tell you about in this course they will tell you about how to communicate how or uh, maybe some mock interview uh, and group discussion maybe their personal talk maybe their so you will learn how to do these things how to build your good communication skills so that these things will be helpful during the interview so this is the good thing that i observed here in the for the six credits this thing is mentioned here for the six credits <clears throat> so credit is equal for all the courses and uh, communication skill is mentioned here the good thing that i observed is a different this is the different from other iits it is different thing from other iits they are providing you the preparation uh, mode for the placements also in terms of communication skill it now if i come to the second semester in second semester the micro electronic lab is there in the micro electronic lab basically in the micro electronic lab there i'll give you the uh, the link also for this lab but they are providing like fabrication of mos capacitors and junction diodes characterization of mos capacitors cv and iv characteristics photovoltaic cells process simulation means circuit and timing simulations design of standard cell and get gate arrays uh, based on circuits and their simulation uh, and uh, cat tools for the testing of the integrated circuits so almost can say similar but it is uh, somehow different from the microelectronic simulation lab so you can uh, clearly explore what is going to be there in this uh, can say the links i have i have provided for the both the labs and this is also uh, four hours for the uh, software part or can say practical purpose and one hour for the lecture so you will learn the concept and after that you will implement in these four hours so again the credit is six and mtex seminar so this thing i have mentioned in other also in all the iit in second semester they provide you the mtex seminar in this year you you you, you have to choose uh, some uh, topic and on the basis of that topic you have to go through the ieee research papers and on the basis of that you have to explain or you have to present that particular topic so this is nothing but a seminar and usually i found in other iits it is for two credits but here it is for four credits so i think they are giving a good weightage for it and one important thing that i observe in the ssd at iit bombay they are giving you the uh, they are giving you the project work in second semester but in other iits in case of iit harakur also i am here so i can see that uh, this project work is starting from the third semester also in the other iits the project work usually starts from the third semester uh, the stage one project then stage two is in fourth semester and apart from that uh, in usually in other iits the project of stage one that is going to provide in the semester two just for two or four credits so the small credits are there just to uh, familiarization with the project but they are giving you the good credit 42 credits means you have to complete half of your mtech project in second semester only but in comparison of this thing other iits are like you have to start your project in third semester and in fourth semester you have to complete it so credits are divided in third and fourth semester but they are giving the huge amount of credits for this project of mtech project in the second semester only and apart from that three electives are there so i can say that mtech uh, in this particular course at iit bombay or in uh, or can say in other courses like ics and you know, means electronic systems and all other courses it may be also like this but so from this thing you can look at the things like two electives in the first semester three courses and one communication so six uh, six things are there in the first semester for 36 credits and in second semester there are total 70 credits so overall you can see that first two semesters are going to be hectic there so you have to be uh, go through the all things you will see that it is going to be hectic there and if you opt some good courses here under these elective list if you opt some good vls related courses i'll mention these things then this is going to be really very hectic and now if i come to the sixth, uh, third semester 
third semester uh, also they are providing the elective so you have to do the elective work here and the institute uh, institute elective so two electives are provided in this semester also so means uh, six credit study work you have to do but in other iits in other iits in third semester only project work is there only project work is there no uh, means can say course work but they are also giving the electives here in this semester so 12 credits are going to do here as in course work as a course work so in semester 4 the stage 2 pro project half of the project that we have done in the second semester is uh, for the 42 credits is now going to be completed in a fourth semester that is for 48 credits so i think you will get the idea how they are flowing their structure of the course it is like in first semester they are giving you the fully focused uh, courses there so you can learn the concept you can simulate the things there you can pop the electives and uh, additionally communication skill is there in second semester this very hectic course work is there m tech seminar you have to do the one lab three electives and one project for the 42 credits half of the projects of m tech and the rest in third semester you again have to do the course work in the fourth semester you have to complete your project for the 48 credits so now you can see that elective list I have mentioned here. So I am not going to explore the, all the things, but I can say about the CMOS analog VLSI design. So you will learn the good concepts of analog VLSI design in this particular elective. So I, I am not going to explore about this uh, elective completely, but I can give you the some insight of this CMOS analog VLSI design. So here you will be like introduction to analog VLSI and mixed signal. This is in CMOS technology basic MOS models, SPICE models, and frequency depend parameters. Basic M, N, NOS, CMOS, gain stage, cascade, cascode circuits. So these are the things you are going to learn here. So you will see that there is a good environment for the analog design course here in this elective. So I think this is the must taken sub subject. Here you will learn the data converters, analog interconnects, analog testing and layout issues charge from circuits and multipliers which are going to help you in the PLN design. So frequency synthesizers and PLN also uh, is given here. Differential amplifiers and op-amp design is provided here. Current sources and voltage reference. So I can say whatever the possible things are there in analog design. Also the introduction to RF electronics, basic concepts of RF design means everything they are providing in this course. So this is the must taken elective here. It is a must taken elective. So now you have to think whether you want to take in the first semester or second semester, but it's a very important course for the analog profile. And uh, after that, the physics of MOS transistors, this elective is going to help you in your fabrication part. And now the VLSI design. So this is all, these all three are the very important electives I can say. The first is a very important and third thing in the VLSI design. In VLSI design, you learn about the overview of the MOS transistor models, CMOS logic families, including static, dynamic and dual rail logic. Integrated circuits, layout, design rules, parasitics, building blocks, mm -hmm. ALEs and all that. So these are the basic things that you will get here and you can explore there. Some introduction to the VHDL or some can say uh, like uh, floor planning, design methodology using VHDL, logic circuit and layout verification. So uh, somehow you will learn something related to the digital here. So this is important for the digital profile I can say. This is very important for the digital profile. And this is very important for the analog profile. So please go through these things. And apart from these, the other electives, I am not much aware about them. So uh, one more thing here, and uh, EP788 is advanced CMOS logic and fresh memory devices. You may get something logical here. I am not completely exploring it. So you may go through all the things I have provided the links there. So apart from that, if I come to the their placements in computing vision. So no doubt it is the IIT Bombay. So no doubt with the placements, IIT B, no doubt with the placements. But the point is here, if you are, whether you are in, uh, uh, can say, or whether you are in solid state or uh, apart from them, other branches are like uh, integrated circuits and system, the ICs, microelectronic engineering, electronic systems, power electronics and power systems, control computing, control and computing, communication engineering, SSD are about which I am explaining. So these all are going to appear for this uh, VLSI. So every branch in this 
college is going to get the opportunity to appear in the BLSI. So I can see students sit about more than uh, 100. I contacted one people, they said, uh, he said that it may around, it go may around like, it go around 150 also. So good number of people are going to sit there in a the BLSI company. So this may be the little concern. You have to be sincere throughout the semester of work so that you can get a good opportunity here. But otherwise the placements are 100%. No doubt in this. So this thing I have mentioned at the end, this is a very important one, labs in BRSI domain. So there is a good lab work provided by this particular college, IIT Bombay, no doubt in that. So placements is not a concern. And after that, if I mention about the additional info that I have mentioned in this particular link, I am, uh, yeah, this particular link is mentioned for the PG courses. In this, you will see the list of all the course, the course code that is a EE like whatever the course codes are there. So you'll get the complete information about the courses here. Means EE788. And if you, if you see there EE618, EE620, EE671, and all the course with the, their course code, you will get the information in this link. And uh, in the second link, especially I have provided the EE669, that is the VLSI technology course. And on the basis of this VLSI technology course, this lab work of uh, microelectronics uh, simulation laboratory work. So one lab work that uh, is a, a microelectronics lab, I have not mentioned their link, but you can go through that also. You will see their link there. So I'll mention these links in the description also, but I have simply tried to mention here so that you can see whatever I am going to give you. Okay, so I think now I should recap, uh, I tried to explain about, so people can compare on their own perspective basis. I would say that IIT Bombay, this SST is very good thing. Uh, you are going to get a good opportunity in terms of coursework and lab work. Some, some, uh, some can say maybe it may be a little bit hectic in the first two semesters and all good TA work is there, I think in this uh, uh, second semester itself, but in other IITs like in IIT Karako, it's going to start in third semester. So it may additional hectic schedule due to this TA work there. So I think this, this is the basic info I tried to list down here. And for more information, you can visit this elective list. You can visit these links and placement no doubt is a hundred percent, but uh, many people are going to sit into the VLSA companies. So you can visit these links so that you can acquire some additional information about these courses. So yeah, uh, thank you. If you have any information, you can contact me. So I think this is enough for this video. Thank you.